So given the large size of the painting, I have decided to use a grid that's barely seen in the camera with a Derwent tinted charcoal pencils that are almost completely erased from the painting once you paint over them. And then I start doing the initial sketch indicating the major forms. I use the printed reference so the faces are the right size from the get-go. Now for the blocking stage, in this painting I am rehearsing a certain idea that came to me a short while ago, which is to make an underpainting with Mars colors only, as a means of substituting the traditional grisaille. The Mars colors are synthetic iron oxides, they are essentially the synthetic version of the old earth pigments, and they are Mars yellow, which is very similar to yellow ochre, Mars orange, Mars red, Mars Violet, just a very dark red with purplish tints, and Mars Black. The idea of using set colors is that they are the longest lasting pigments. Cavemen painted with earth pigments, their slight fastness for you. I have no blue, so all of my blues are represented by grey tones, and by mixing black and yellow I get a discolored green, but that's good enough for the underpainting. In the blocking stage, I make absolutely no details, see how the faces have only a very general layout. Essentially, this is just to kill off the white. There are parts that will receive no further modeling. I think that the next time around, if I'm going to do a blurry background like here, I'll do an alla prima background. Alla prima is actually a very archival way to do things. It is when you go indirect that rules begin to apply. I do not consider myself a master of painting or something, so I feel shy of making this a proper painting tutorial, so these videos are more like a shared journey where I share what I have learned about painting. Still, I believe this will be useful to many people.
After doing the blocking, I start actually making the details, still Mars palette only. I start with the gentleman's face and putting the reference photo side by side so I have less chance of making any mistake. Later I realized that the problem was that I had put the eyes too close together, the right eye at the left of the picture was a little too far to the right. With the lady's face it took two attempts to get it right. Oil is pretty forgiving in that sense, but if you are going to correct mistakes, it is best to try to correct them in a single session. To paint on top of a dry layer will lead to visible pentimenti, literally repentments, <laughs> in a distant future, because the paint layers get more transparent over time. After that, it's all about painting the details of the people and the dog. Mars colors still. Full colors come at the end as glazings. the sky I used cerulean blue mixed with titanium white. And finally the glazings, done in a single session with transparent colors. All the detail I wanted was already there so I used rather thick natural hair brushes. It is at this stage that the painting really comes alive. Also, transparent pigments have their maximum light fastness when they are glazed rather than mixed in tints, especially with white. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget to click on the thumbs up to say you like this video. Subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button and click the bell to receive a notification when I upload a new video. Visit me in social networks, Facebook, Instagram and DeviantArt and in my website www.arielrdh.com. Thanks for watching.